Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Okay, today I want to chat about what to do when life gets in the way and how to get right back on track. And I've got four quick tips for you that are going to help you do this. And this might not even apply to you right now because especially if you're in Feel for Fat Loss or VIP, you guys are on fire and you're doing so incredibly well. And this might not even apply to you, but it's so important to be proactive because life can sometimes just get in the way and we gotta be proactive and know what to do when that happens. So before I get started, first off, if you're in Feel for Fat Loss, can I just say, this is the first time ever, the first time ever that I've seen tremendous positivity in a group. And I'm actually gonna talk a little bit about how positivity helps you um, in today's video. Also, if you're in VIP, Wow, we are cleansing right now. We're doing our five day cleanse and I'm doing this with everyone. I am drinking my herbal tea right now. I have a bit of a headache today. I feel the headache seeping in. So I'm gonna stay on top of my water. If this is happening to, to any of you, day two can be tough, day three can be tough. Day four, day five, you start to feel better. Drink your water, drink your herbal tea. It's definitely gonna help. Um, and great job to all of you in Feel for Fat Loss and VIP right now. This is gonna be a solid week, I can feel it. Okay, so let's chat about what to do when life gets in the way. Number one, realize it for what it is. This is so important. Realize that life sometimes just gets in the way and there's nothing that you can do about it. So try and go with the flow as much as you can. Think of it as almost like a test. I'm being tested right now and I'm gonna be tested for my strength and to see if I can get through this. And then tell yourself tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow is an opportunity to have a fresh start. So number one, realize it for what it is and get right back on track. Number two, do not have an all or nothing attitude about it. I can't stress this enough. I have seen so many clients over the years have an all or nothing attitude and it doesn't work, especially with the new year because we have the best intentions when the new year starts, right? We're like, okay, I'm never gonna eat another French fry again. <laughs> I am gonna get my food dialed in. I'm gonna get my workouts dialed in. I'm gonna go to the gym seven days a week. And this can just set you up for failure, by the way, like deciding that you're gonna do it all at once, especially if you're just starting out, can set you up for failure. And this is why I'm such an advocate for getting your food dialed in first. Get your food 100% dialed in first because this is gonna make the most impact on your health as well as your fat loss. And it's also gonna fuel you to wanna do more and fuel you for your workout. So start with that and that way you're not gonna get overwhelmed. But um, sometimes doing it all is not possible. And I want you to give yourself permission to dial it back at any point if you get overwhelmed. And if you're in Feel for Fat Loss, you know that you can dial it back at any point to just your no-no list. You could also dial it back to something even simpler than that, and that could be your morning elixir. The morning elixir is incredible. This is something that's going to push you closer to your goals. It's gonna give you some quick wins and some results. Hello, I talked about food, I think, and <laughs> Romeo heard it. <laughs> um, so dial it back. Give yourself permission to get back to basics and not have to do it all because Having that all or nothing attitude is definitely not gonna work. Okay, my third tip, do not punish yourself at any point if you fall off track. Do not punish yourself at any point if you fall off track. And I can't tell you how many times I've, I've worked on myself with this. Um, you know, and, and this is something that it, with time I overcame, but I can't tell you how many times I said, Simone, you're no good at anything. Simone, you never stick to anything. Simone, you're doing a terrible job. How about instead saying something like, Simone, you're wonderful and you're doing the best that you can right now with the tools that you have. Simone, you're wonderful and I love you. Simone, you're wonderful and I love you enough to treat my body right. Simone, I love you enough to treat my body right and do everything that I can to treat my body right 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 now so do not punish yourself at any time because this is not going to serve you and it's only going to hold you back and sabotage you so 
Last tip, and this goes along the same lines, stay positive. And this is why I'm loving our groups right now because there's so much positivity and so much momentum, but positivity is key. And there's been so many res um, research studies done now where there's two groups of people, they are doing the exact same fitness routine, the exact same food routine, but one group is fed positive affirmations, and guess what? That group that is fed the positive affirmations and is saying those daily positive affirmations are doing better and actually see better results. So staying positive is absolutely key. Do not punish yourself at any, at any point. Realize it, that life can be tricky. It's gonna test you and it's going to happen. Things are gonna happen. Those curveballs are gonna happen. Be proactive, know that it's gonna happen and then do everything that you can to just get right back on track. Tell yourself that tomorrow is a new day. It's a fresh start and don't have that all or nothing attitude. All right, you guys, I wanna wish you a fantastic, healthy day. Romeo and I wanna wish you a fantastic, healthy day, right? <laughs> and I'll be seeing you in our groups as well as in our community. Mwah. Bye, you guys.